Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm officially 13 weeks pregnant and I thought I'd do a quick video just sharing how I'm feeling, the symptoms that I've been having and all that sort of stuff. I've also received my letter regarding the Down syndrome so I'll be sharing the results of that with you as well. regarding the Down syndrome. I received it a couple of days ago so I'm happy to report that we do have a low chance of baby having Down syndrome. We're one in 10,000 so that's quite a lot. So we're really really happy with that letter that we received. Um, I'm really really happy with that news. Um, I can't believe that I'm week 13. It's the last week of the first trimester um, and also baby is apparently the size of a pea pod. Um, that's what um, one of my apps says. I've got several apps um, that I'm using I've got uh, MS Diaries app, I've got Bounty app, um, and then I've also got one uh, Baby Center app, I believe it's called. Um, so I'm using several apps. It's really interesting to read about baby um, and what's going on inside. I've still been extremely tired this week. I actually had a really good day at the beginning of the week, um, which is actually when I recorded my last video. So I obviously feel, uh, even in the video, I looked a little bit more like I was full of energy um, and I had a really good day uh, but as the week's gone I've got really really tired and my motivation has just honestly disappeared. I've been feeling very low and down, um, I'm not really quite sure why, I'm not sure if that's just hormones or something but I've just not been in a very positive state of mind. With Rose I actually had postnatal depression so that's been playing on my mind. Um, Obviously, I went through quite a really down time when I had Rose um, and it lasted for about two years. So I'm very conscious of my mindset. I'm very conscious with how I'm feeling. So this week, um, yeah, it's just not been a very good week with regards to my mindset and how I've been feeling. So I'm trying to stay positive and look after myself, you know, having a nice long bath and watching some TV and just trying to listen to my body um, a little bit more because I'm trying really hard to not go back with regards to my mindset because I've had to work so hard um, on you know almost becoming me again because it was like I said it was last about two years um, and there's a lot that I now do um, on a daily basis to try and make sure that my mindset is on the positive things and I started feeling a little bit more like I was me again which is really nice um, so I'm all very conscious of that now obviously we found out I'm pregnant again um, and this week has just not been a very good week with regards to my mindset uh, but I am aware of it which is obviously the main thing um, but that's been the main thing this week really um, that and feeling tired and just not having any motivation has been the main feelings this week um, I've not really been craving anything um, I have been loving crisps a lot a lot more than normal um, yeah I've been having probably a bit too many packets of crisps um, but I wouldn't really cast that as a craving um, just every now and then I just really fancy crisps so that's really all there. Um, I'm trying really, really hard to limit myself to two cups of tea a day. I, the occasion, I'll be honest, I do have three cups of tea, but I'm trying really hard to stick to two. Like I've been told, I am a lover of tea, so it's really hard for me. Um, I'm trying to drink plenty of water, um, which obviously is very important. I'm trying to stay hydrated. Um, so yeah, that's really all I've been feeling this week. Uh, I have also dug out my maternity jeans, which is what I absolutely lived in with Rose. Um, so um, you may not know, but I absolutely live in jeans. I love jeans. That is pretty much all I wear, other than maybe PJ Bottoms, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I absolutely love wearing jeans, and it's no different when I'm pregnant. Um, so I just buy the maternity jeans. Obviously, they're just so much more comfortable than normal jeans. Um, and now, obviously, I've noticed I'm just getting a little bit bigger. I've decided to dig them out. I've given them a big wash as well because obviously they were in the loft so I've run through the washing machine and got those ready and raring to go when I'm ready to wear them. Um, my tummy has got a little bit bigger I'll be honest it more feels like I've just put a little bit of weight on um, but I will show you a bump shot now I'll insert it here um, so I have got a little bump now um, which is which is nice, but like I said, it more feels like I've just added on weight than it does that, that I'm actually pregnant. 
I have also been taking some multivitamins, so we'll put a picture here for you, the ones I'm taking. So I am taking the Pregnant Care original ones. I really struggle with uh, tablets that are too big. These are borderline for me. Um, this time I seem to struggle a little bit more than last time. Um, but these are the ones I have with Rose. I love the fact that I've got everything in, the folic acid, the vitamin D, everything you need in the one tablet. Um, so like I said, I'm really just not very good at taking tablets. Um, they're the ones that I've had, never had a problem with them. Um, and they're the ones that I've been on for quite a few weeks now, actually. Um, I did forget to show you them in my last video. Um, but yeah, they're the ones that I have chosen to take again this time so when you're pregnant you can get some free items if you didn't know if you download the Emma's Diaries app you can receive three packs through them of freebies from your local boots or Argos store um, and then if you download the Bounty app you can get um, one pack either from Boots or from Tesco's I believe um, so I did pick mine up so I thought I'd show you what I got in them in case you're interested so I did get my Emma's Diaries packs from Argos and then I got my Bounty pack from Tesco's um, I have heard that getting them from Boots you don't seem to get as much for some reason you seem to get more um, at like the supermarkets and at like Argos um, than you do at the one in boots so that's what I found out so that's why I went to the supermarket instead although it's very handy knowing that boots obviously have both the Emma Diaries and the Bounty one so if you just want to go to one place obviously it's really handy because that's the only place that does both of them um, but let me show you let me open them up show you what's inside the ones I've got I picked mine up last week which is the end of October just to give you a timeline so obviously it may change if you're watching this in the future but let me get these bags open um, and then I'll show you what's inside so with the Emma's Diaries, I'll start off with them first. So these are the ones that I got from Argos, and you get three packs. Um, I actually thought I'd only pick up one, but she decided to give me all of them at the same time. Um, so gift pack one is the Mum to Be pack, that's the pink one. Um, and then the second pack is the Bump to Baby, uh, which is the purple one. Um, and then the last pack that you get is uh, gift pack three, which is New Family, which is the green one. So I'll open them up in order. So I'll open up the pink one first. Right, so in this packet you get quite a few different leaflets. So I won't go through these because again, they'll be different probably when you have them. But there's some vouchers in there and just some different offers and information leaflets as well. So you get those firstly. And then you do get a packet of the Pregnacare. So this is the one that actually I have, so that's really handy. Um, so you do get seven in here. So it's just a seven day sample that you get. But they're really handy. You then get a um, tube of Sudocrem by the looks of it. Um, and then on the back of it, there are actually some vouchers, 25p off the Treat Nappy Rash, and then 50p off the Prevent Nappy Rash, um, which is what this one is. So a nice little tube is always handy to have. Um, and then it looks like you have got some stretch mark cream um, and some skin therapy oil. So it looks like we've got a pouch of each of those to try. Um, so really handy, not use the cocoa butter one, um, but I'll give it a go, so there's a freebie. And then the last thing that you get in this pack is the Colgate Zero to Two Tiny Mouth Toothpaste. Um, I don't remember too much on what I got in the pack last time I was pregnant with Rose, which was three years ago, almost four years ago now. Um, and I'm pretty certain they didn't have toothpaste. So this is pretty new. It's just this natural fruit flavour. Um, so that's quite interesting. It's zero to two years for your baby's teeth. So really handy. And that is all you get in pack one. So let me open up pack two now. So the second pack is actually the biggest out of the three sets. This is the bump to baby one. So you do get a load of leaflets again, similar to the ones that are in the first pack. So you've got those to look through. Um, then the first thing that I've got here is a aqua wipe sample. So you get one wipe um, and it's 99.6% purified water. So I've never actually used these myself. The wipes that I used with Rose and the ones that I really enjoyed using um, were the Little Angels from Asda. They're their own brand and I absolutely love the wipes and I absolutely love the nappies. I've tried Sainsbury's, I've tried Pampers, I've tried various others, but they're the ones that I always enjoyed using the most. The nappies also as well, I cannot recommend the Little Angels nappies enough, they just, they're just so good, they're just a nice material, um, whereas I found like Sainsbury's they're a bit too rough, and I also found that 
the little angel ones hold quite a lot of out as well so there's a little less accidents than there was with say, maybe some of the other brands so that's what i usually use but it's really handy to have a sample of that next we do have a tummy rub butter from Mama Mio, I have never heard of that brand myself, so I have no idea if that's other if I've said that right or not. Um, but just like so you get a little sample of that. Um, it says here apply twice daily, so I will be giving that a try. <clears throat> then you do get two breast pads. I remember you got these last time. I think I had so many samples of these breast pads. Honestly, didn't need to buy anything like that for myself. Um, and then the biggest thing in here. Um, it's actually a packet of Pampers New Baby Size 1 Nappies, so you get 22 in here, so that's really handy to have. It's nice that you get a nice big size as well. Um, I don't remember getting a big pack last time, but I may be wrong, going completely off memory. Um, so that's really handy. These are size 1, so that's great. And that is actually all you get in the second pack. So now I'll open up the third and final pack of the Emma's Diaries. So the third one is actually the smallest of the three packs. Um, so you do get um, a few of the leaflets again. You don't get as many in here, but some of them are very similar to the ones you've already seen. You get a, another sample of the cocoa butter um, formula that we saw in pack one. So it's the stretch marks one and then the skin therapy oil. So you get another sample of that. You then get another toothpaste, but this time it's from Aquafresh um, Milk Teeth, zero to two years again, but you get a little small sample of that one. Um, and it looks like it also comes with some belch in the back as well. And then lastly, you get another tube of the Sudocram, so exactly the same again as you got in the first pack. And it also has the same vouchers on the back. And that is all you get in the third pack. So let me now grab the bounty pack for you and we'll get that one opened. So the bounty pack is actually much bigger. It looks like there is actually more in there. But you do only get one of these, whereas the Emma's Diaries you get three packs. So let me open this up and we'll see what's inside. So I actually got my bounty pack from Tesco's. Um, so you do get a few of the leaflets again that you got similar to the ones in the Ember Diary ones. Um, with the bounty one, you do get a bounty buying guide. So it looks like it goes through sort of high chairs, carts, prams, all different bits like that, carriers, um, all different things, uh, monitors as well. So that's really handy to have a little look through that. Um, and then we do have some samples, so we have a water wipe sample here, um, it says here they're the most delicate, um, purest wipes, so it looks like you get two um, samples in there of that, um, so really handy to give those a try, I haven't actually tried those ones either. Um, then you do get a packet of Huggies wipes, so you get actually a whole packet here of Huggies. I have used these, um, I don't like them as much as I like the Little Angels ones, but it's always handy to have wipes, you're always going to use wipes for anything, so and that's really nice that you get a nice big size of that. Then we do have um, a four pack of sterilising tablets, I believe, um, from Milton. So again, really handy to have. You then get a sample of Persil and Comfort. Um, so it looks like you get uh, a sample of one of each. So that's the Comfort one there. Um, and then you also get some Persil non-bio as well. So you're always going to use those. So that's really nice that you've got... Um, at least one wash there and then the last thing which is going to be oh, a bit tricky to get out the last thing you get is a giant pack of nappies so these are the fred and flow ones so these are actually tesco's own brand i haven't actually used tesco's own brand i don't think i've used sainsbury's and i've used asda's own brand and i've used obviously some of the bigger brands so i haven't tried fred and flow yet um, so really um, looking forward to trying these ones. So you actually get 50 of these. So these are the no newborn ones again and they're size one. But it's really nice actually you get such a big pack from Tesco's. So that's really handy to have. Um, it's sort of starting the stockpile already because the amount of nappies you need, honestly, you might as well start now. Um, but yeah, that's the bounty pack and that's what you get in that one.
Uh, it does actually see me get one more item that I did actually miss in the bag, um, which is actually, it looks like a sterilising bag of some kind um, from the well-known brand of Munchkin. So Munchkin, I know, do um, sort of baby bottles um, and toddler bottles, because I know Rose has got loads of those. Um, but it looks like there's like a little sterilising bag in there. Um, it was hidden right at the bottom, so I didn't see that. So that is actually the last thing you get in that pack. So that is it for today's video. I did also want to say a big thank you to everyone who commented on my announcement video. I will link it down in the description below if you didn't see that. And also those over on Instagram, I've got quite a few of you private messaged me, which is really nice. It's lovely to hear from you. Um, it's been a bit of a low week for me this week, so I'm hoping that next week's going to really be a little bit happier and I'm going to feel a little bit more myself. Um, but that is it for today's video. So I hope you did enjoy watching. I hope you enjoyed the pregnancy update and seeing all of the um, free packs that you can get I do recommend you grabbing those if you are pregnant but if you did like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time thanks guys